The prosecution says this is a case about money, drugs, and revenge, and that there is a mountain of evidence that will lead jurors to the only conclusion possible that Christopher Gay stabbed Ryan Stewart and left him to die. Christopher Gay is accused of killing 22 year old Ryan Stewart back in January of 2012. The prosecution says that Gay and Corey Bennett entered the victim's apartment and after brutally beating Stewart, Gay stabbed him three times. One penetrating his lung, one cutting into his spleen, and one slash in his abdomen. This was the knife the prosecution said Gay used to end Stewart's life during a robbery that took only seven minutes. The prosecution said that the apartment was covered in blood, and some of the blood that was near the victim's safe was Gay's. He left it there because he had a cut on his left hand, right on underneath his thumb. Gay sat silently as the prosecution outlined its case, which it said will include text messages between Gay and Bennett plotting the robbery and then told the jury they will hear from Bennett about that night. Well, he agreed to do so to take responsibility for his role in Ryan Stewart's murder. He wanted to tell Ryan's family what had happened. However, defense counsel Andrew Katrupi suggested a very different reason that Corey Bennett will testify. He is avoiding spending the rest of his natural life until he dies in a concrete box. The defense says it was Bennett who stabbed Stewart, claiming Gay didn't know the victim and that it was Bennett who was upset with Stewart. Also, that he did it because he thought Stewart was stealing his girlfriend. Corey Bennett killed Ryan Stewart. And he did it because Ryan slept or kissed or did something with Heidi. Well, we know that Corey Bennett will testify. There's no word yet on whether or not Christopher Gay will take to the stand in his own defense. Reporting live in Dover, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.